Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial by me, Johnny's Life Vlog. So today is about keyframes. So let's type in key and I'll just not write frames because it's not important right now. So um get your video, double click that, import it, or you can drag it in from another um file. Um so open up your time frame and then we we'll, we will double click, open up our video. I'm just going to pick a random spot to put into my time frame. I'm going to zoom in just by hitting that positive magnifying glass and then I'm going to put my red marker over that clip. Go to, over to effects down here and I just double click that or just clicked it to open it and then I'm going to double click titles. Now you can also add crawl or roll but for this one I'm just going to use default. So I'm going to right click on my clip, go to settings, and go boom. Perfect. Alright, now this is the cool part. I recently discovered this. Alright, we're going to go to the beginning of the clip. It is normal size. We're going to right here. And it made it made a keyframe right there. So this is now the default size. Now if we go to our center, it is still the same size. Congratulations, Jonathan. You're a genius. All right, so now we're going to make that huge. All right, now that made a keyframe in the very middle, where that is the peak, where it hits 0.25, right there. Anywho, so now we're going to go to the end, and in, as you see, it gets smaller again. So now we're going to create another keyframe that is big, so that now we have created two big keyframes, and it'll uh. stay big. Uh, I'll show you what as I mean. That, I was throughout the video, and it'll get anvil. bigger from the beginning. And I bought a new hammer, as you can see. Which is a really big nice hammer. Climax. Bought it now it'll stay and it'll stay that uh, big until I hit that no final. One. Um, the, oops. It'll stay big until I hit this keyframe right here, in which it'll go back to the, the default size, which is originally this one and for some reason it just goes back to default so if you want to change that you just put the um, red thing I really drawn up blank right there um, put that over it Oops. and you just drag this size make sure that this is highlighted it has to have that blue gold glow it cannot be cannot be dark like that otherwise it will not set keyframes and you can set that so that it will be like that now there are probably a bazil bazillion things that you can do with this right now but I cannot fit it all into this tutorial so thanks for watching guys hit the like button and leave a comment if you if it helped you leave a comment if it didn't help you more importantly because then I will try to help help you figure it out and I'll probably learn some things myself along the way so thanks for watching guys and wait for it bye